So hello, welcome to Damien's Trains and Travels and welcome to the video. And in this video I'll be looking at six more McDonald's toys and they're the Sonic games that came out in 2004. So each one had a game and obviously there's an on and off switch on the back and then you switch it off and then you can just play the game. And I'll say there were six of these all together. And the yellow one with tails in, um, I found particularly hard. You had these like rings coming at you and then you had to sort of be in two places at the same time. You had obviously the buttons to go up and down and that. Um, but that one that I always found was quite tricky. I hadn't really played with these for a while and some of them I had to change the batteries on. And um, it's weird because um, I've got toys that are much older than this in the McDonald's ranges and the batteries are still working and that's how they've been around a lot longer and the batteries still work whereas these ones I've had to, some of them I've had to replace. Um, it could just be the fact that I've played with these a bit more and these probably obviously do use a lot more um, power than the other ones which is probably part of the reason why I had to change them. And also, you may remember as well that I did a review last year on the Shrek toys that came out of McDonald's in 2007. Uh, they obviously came out after these, and some of them, um, the batteries didn't work either. But I've actually managed to replace them now, and um, as a bit of a treat, I thought I'd show you them, see, show you that they're working. So that was the Shrek toys, uh, great, I managed to get them all working again. And they all required AG3 batteries, um, and then obviously you need the screwdriver. When I did that video, I didn't have the right screwdriver, but I managed to speak to my dad. And my dad thankfully had the right screwdriver, so I was able to replace the batteries. And um, they all seem to use the same batteries as the McDonald's toys, obviously these ones and the other ones. So I'm assuming most McDonald's toys are the same, that have batteries. I suppose in some ways that's what I like the Beano ones that come out, because they didn't have any batteries. Um, really. And again, like the Mr. Mim ones I had, um, some of them um, had voices and not all of them work now. But unfortunately you'd have to destroy the toy to get the um, batteries to work by opening it. Uh, my two favourite ones are the ones with Sonic, the green one, and the Grand Prix racing one. Um, and I really like these. And I'd say these came out in 2004, which was 20 years ago. And I remember my nan, who was 80 at the time, um, she found them quite fascinating. And on the back of the instructions to these ones, it actually shows you how to repair them, like the screwdriver and that, and unscrew them. Whereas other toys that I've got in McDonald's that came with batteries, they don't show you how to um, repair them. So I found that a bit unusual. But I remember my nan, uh, when we got these, I, I had one around her house and she was, I remember her commenting and saying, um, you know, how, um, you know, good it was and she thought the toys were quite nice. I do agree and I've, some of my other McDonald's videos that I've done, I've had people comment and say to me, oh, um, you know, they're a lot nicer now, uh, the old toys than the newer ones. I mean, I do collect some of the newer ones, but in general, I do prefer the older ones like this, personally. Don't get me wrong, I do absolutely love these games, but my only criticism would be that I think the screens are a bit too small on a lot of them, to be honest with you. I mean, I was a lot younger when I played them, so I was probably a bit smaller, so maybe they're only designed for little people, I don't know, but I didn't, even back then I thought that the screens were a little bit small. I suppose that's my only sort of criticism. I was 11 years old when these came out, and I remember I used to watch Sonic the Hedgehog on CITV, the Sonic X TV series, a lot. I couldn't remember the name of all the characters apart from Sonic and Tails. On the whole, as things stand, I wouldn't say that I was really a gamer or into video games or anything like that, um, but I did really used to enjoy playing these ones, and I remember years ago when I was younger, we had the PlayStation um, 1, like the really early one when I was younger. Obviously, the game world's changed a lot since then. Um, I don't really play video games now, really, but I did find these ones very uh, interesting, and um, like I said, I started playing with these again recently when I sort of dug them out, and obviously I've done my other reviews on McDonald's Toys. And um, I was quite surprised because I've done the ones on the Bear and the Big Blue House toys and that got loads of views and so did the ones on the Mr. Men from 2021 for the 50th anniversary. Uh, then videos got loads of views, which I was quite surprised about, to be honest with you. Obviously, I don't know how many this one will get. But um, obviously, people seem to enjoy watching them, so I'm going to keep on making them. And obviously, like I said, I had, had a lot of these already. 
And like I say, some of them I did get at McDonald's, others I got outside of McDonald's. And also my nan and her sister, they used to go to McDonald's to get the Happy Meal, and then they used to give me and my sister the toys, whatever was out at the time. Which is probably why I've got a fairly big collection of most things. And like I said, as well, second-hand shops, charity shops, and car boot sales, you tend to find these sorts of things all the time anyway. But here's a better look at them all, and thank you very much for watching.